Greetings to all my friends and subscribers. This is going to be a video about stroke and recovery. Wednesday, I'm going to describe to you what happened to me. That's this last Wednesday and uh, this week. So I got up about seven o'clock to get up to go to the bathroom. And on the way there, I collapsed down on my left side and was paralyzed on my left side. So I was laying there naked on the floor, paralyzed on my left side. Colleen came in and said, what's wrong? I, I said, I'm trying to get up so I could go pee. But my speech was so messed up that she realized that I was having a stroke. So what she did is call the paramedics. The paramedics got there right away, and uh, I was combative with the paramedics and kind of fighting with them, which I don't remember that well, except for you know them saying you know you know don't fight us or whatever. And I actually have some uh, abrasions on my forehead where once they hauled me into the ambulance naked and tied me down the straps across the forehead or the gloves of the paramedic kind of scraped my forehead and I vaguely remember as in kind of a nightmare scenario strobe lights and a siren and them saying stay down stay down and then on the radio spill that the patient they was bringing in is combative so I don't remember being taken into the emergency room, but apparently I was carried in there combative and naked, having a stroke out of my mind and, you know, uh, pretty messed up. Well, it just so happens by the grace of God, and this is what it was, that a specialist in strokes happened to be working in the emergency room and an anesthesiologist was in there that wasn't normally there. And of course, the anesthesiologist was necessary to knock me out because I was so uh, combative that nobody could have worked on me unless I was unconscious. So now, <clears throat> excuse me, the next thing that I remember is waking up. Waking up, tied down, laying flat on my back, uh, kind of like the giant in Gulliver's Travels. I, I was tied down both hands, both feet, and strapped across me so that I couldn't move. They told me that they was going to leave me there for eight hours because they didn't want me to move. That was pretty, uh, I felt like a prisoner or something. But, you know, this is how they were treating me. And I was treated very well at Huntsville Hospital. I would recommend that hospital to anybody anywhere in the United States. The care was excellent, and they took very good care of me. Now, of course, my pastor and the deacon from the church and my wife and my sister-in-law were in the waiting room, and they had sent out messages to people to pray. And, of course, in James it says uh, that the effectual prayer of a righteous man availeth much. James, uh, uh, let's see here, it's uh, 5.16. Anyway, so people were praying for me all over. Now, not only was the providence of God in play in that Colleen just happened to walk in at the time I was having a stroke and uh, the people who were necessarily in the ER there to be able to treat the stroke, um, it was uh, a part of my brain that if it would have been there much longer or a little bit further south, I would have probably not recovered as well as I did. And I did recover well enough that I could walk out of the hospital in my own power Friday night. So not many people that have this major stroke ever walk out of a hospital in two days and have as much of their facilities 
working with them as I do right now. I'm very thankful to the Lord Jesus Christ and all of the saints that prayed for me. I consider this uh, a miraculous healing uh, that happened as far as me having a stroke. So um, I wanted to share this and give all glory to the Lord and be very thankful to all the doctors, nurses at Huntsville Hospital that cared for me and also for all of the people that prayed. Thank you very much. I appreciate it very much. It was a blessing to me and as fearful a situation as it was, it deep in my heart, I wasn't afraid if it was time for the Lord to take me, I would have been ready to go, not wanting to leave my wife, of course, but, you know, this isn't our home, and when it's the time for us to go, saints, don't be afraid. Uh, there's nothing to be afraid of. Many blessings to all of you, and thank the Lord for His miraculous healing power. God bless you, and many blessings. Amen.